We are back. Um, had a little technical difficulties. I'll admit that. But so, gentlemen, where do we want to start first? I mean, it's been a crazy what two and a half weeks since we yes. last talked. So it's been a lot of a uh, lot of major developments, a lot of uh, crazy things within hip hop, sports. Uh, I mean, just you know, the world in general. And a lot of. New uh, I don't know. I don't know. What, what, what you want to get off on first? Um, something that's been impressing my mind for the past two days. Um, it's really we're we're not going to start here. We're not. But I would love to start here. I feel like it's not even that. I feel knowing you, I feel like it's not that not that important. You it's, want it to be a big deal. I do. I really do. Why is Stevie Wonder <laughs> leaving Motown Records? I don't, he's been on that record label since like the sixties. No, no, no. Stevie Wonder has since he, to leave since he was twelve. Since he was twelve. What do you want to? You want to understand yes. until the day he dies? I said. I'm just saying. Where is Stevie Wonder gonna go? The QC. I don't know. <laughs> He has enough money to he has enough money to where he can record in his house, hire an engineer, a uh, hire a producer, and that's that's all he needs. True. Y'all won't y'all won't Stevie Wonder on QC with Gucci Man. It, no, this is what no, I'm no, nobody nobody's asking for that. You want that. <laughs> you're, throwing want, that we, you're throwing that into the uh into the air. You want it to happen. I'm just I'm just saying, I don't want to see Stevie Wonder out here independently with young Dolph. You know, singing and rapping. No, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna look. Work. St- look, Stevie, you're the legend. Um, at this point, he doesn't really have to do anything music wise. He could, he could tour for the rest of his life, play the same uh, three albums. You know, song of the kid, life, talking book, and just you know, do. Uh, I don't think he. I mean, do you think him leaving is really gonna make him want to like do new music? Because I don't think he's put out an album in like a couple of years, so. He's put out two records of why he left. Oh, he put out two records of why he left? Yeah, he put a, he put out eight minutes worth of content. <laughs> Stevie Wonder is here. This no, is no joke. Okay, so okay, did you listen to him? So what are they talking about? I ain't listen to those man's records. <laughs> okay, but what what is he what is he talking about? Like, does he give like reasons why he left? Let me pull up the article. Well, here, you keep explaining your point, then let me pull up the article. No, I'm just saying that, you know, as much as we love Stevie, I don't think most people nowadays, even the, his older fans, probably aren't really checking for his new stuff like that. So they're probably just going to stick to his classics from the 70s, from the 80s, and just, you know, listen to that. So even if he leaves, go to a different label, does stuff independently from now on, it doesn't really matter at this point. Okay. I, I mean, he's it. a legend. It's not going to change much. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, Stevie Wonder released two new songs today. All of the proceeds from the first single will be benefiting benefiting the Feeding America, Feeding America organization. Okay. Um, it doesn't really say. It's talking about him undergoing kidney surgery or, or kidney transplant, excuse me. And then um, the second song is just about why he left, I guess. And he's been in a he's been in a hiatus since. So. Again, it's not a pressing matter. It's not a really pressing matter, but I just want to know why was Stevie Wonder leaving Motown Records? That's not the uh, that's, that's 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 you know it's different. It's different. No, yeah, it is. It's definitely. I wouldn't expect that to hear. You know, such a legendary artist like Stevie leaving such a legendary label like Motown. You know, the label they've pretty much been with since the beginning. But I mean, you know, it's 2020, you know, anything can happen this year. Uh, you, you, but speaking of like, you know, because when you were talking about like him addressing like the issues on the song, y'all remember like two years ago when R. Kelly dropped that song explaining like everything that that been going on? <laughs> I'm trying to remember that. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Wait, what? Excuse me. Yeah, I don't know if I remember that. You, you remember that song? I remember the song. It was, like a, it was like a 15 minute song of like him pretty much trying to like clear up his name of like everything he'd been talking about for like, for like all the like allegations that have been thrown at him and like, you know, I, you talking about I admit it. <laughs> yeah. I admit it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was, listen, yeah. listen, listen, you remember that? Listen, listen. I'm not going to play with you, man. <laughs> I, I'm that just sounds saying like some R. Kelly. Shit. It is. <laughs> it is. Did y'all, I remember listening to it and just being like flabbergasted. I, I like, I thought I was dreaming. I'm like, this can't be real. <laughs> R. Kelly could not be over here trying to defend himself on a song crooning. Episode one, that's that's where you want to go. You want to go, R. Yeah. I mean, R. Kelly, R. Kelly is trash regardless. He didn't jail. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> like you know. 
<laughs> well, there goes our five star. There goes our five star review. 